aside health workers, some persons that should be acknowledged in the fight against COVID-19 are sign language interpreters. They make sure COVID-19 messages get to the deaf community. I'm here with some sign language interpreters and they explain a few things in their line of duty. Clement Sam is a sign language interpreter who the Information Ministry has engaged to interpret government's policies and decisions in relation to COVID-19 to the deaf community. He tells the news team the job entails reading wide on the subject matter for easy interpretation. COVID-19 is a um, novel to the health experts and the same surprise comes to us, the interpreters, because you need to understand what is being said before you can interpret it, the meaning of it, to the deaf community. If you don't understand, then there is going to be a challenge. So you need to be reading a lot. You need to be doing research on COVID-19. So before the experts come, you, you have this knowledge and you're able to, you know, do a very good job. Sign language interpretation, according to Clement, can be difficult sometimes. Most often, we don't get a script before we take up assignments. So you need to do a lot of research. So that is a big challenge. Once you know what is going to be discussed, at least you have the salient point from the presenter's you know, um, outline. Then you'll be in a very good in a good way, you'll be prepared for such an assignment, so you're not surprised when standing next to the main speakers. One may wonder if these interpreters relay all the information as spoken, but Clement had this to say. There are some words and, you know, um, sentence structures and everything that goes with it. Some of them really do not add any meaning to the content of a statement that is being made. Anytime something is said, we want to look out for the legal equivalents, we want to look out for the meaning. So yes, it's not everything that is said that we interpret. Clemens' colleague, Lav Emisa, disclosed that she faces stigma in her community. Sometimes when you finish and then you go outside, people will be like, hey, don't come close to me. Don't come and infect me with the virus. The thing maybe when you come here, those certain here are infected. Though we don't know our status, whether being positive or negative. But they try to disc uh, discriminate against us. But sometimes I just try to educate them that we are not, we are not in contact with any um, positive patient. Statistics show that there are more than 100,000 deaf people in the country. The contributions of these interpreters to the fight against COVID-19 cannot be overlooked. Clement has a message for the deaf community. For Metro News, Bridget Ayokomati, Accra.